Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe you figure it out from Griffin Claw is the one for you. Welcome back. So we are going to try You Figured Out that Jessica bought. And yeah, because we were watching some random people on YouTube like go through a Michigan brew box. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I, know. I was in the kitchen. I can't. I... Doing my job. And Brad I was watching TV. subscribed to them um, a week or two ago. I don't okay. even remember. Well, anyway, they were going name. through it and... Um, because I was half paying attention and saw a coconut. I was like, ooh, I'll try that. <clears throat> but the can's cool. Like yeah. a tiki. Yeah, it's got like a tiki guy, big head, then his hands over his belly button, which is the Griffin Claw logo. Yep. This is, and it has everything on here, 6% ABV and 15 IBUs. Uh, this is a coconut vanilla milk stout. And since I don't have taste in stouts, we're going to try this and see if I like it. I'm guessing this was canned on 11 16 17. Why? Because I think that's 11 16 17. Oh. Yep. Good job, Brad. All right, let's cool. get to it. So, head is a chocolate head. Uh, all small bubbles. I think you got a little bit more head than I do. Uh, a little over a finger of head. Uh, if we do look at the head, it is um, like a soap head. Uh, bubbles are all compacted together. Okay. If we look at it, dark brown color. I do have a little amber hue on the bottom, but not much. Can you hear that background noise? Yeah. Like the ceiling rumbling. <laughs> Leave the kids upstairs for 10 minutes and... Okay, smell... Good. That has a really good coconut, coconut smell. vanilla, almost like the tanning lotion. No. I wouldn't. It doesn't smell as t tanning lotion like the Puerto right. Rico did. Right, but I I think the to me the coconut is what really stands out. It's not like overpowering. No, but I think it smells like coconut flakes. <laughs> like I don't think it smells like art of like. You say artificial coconut or like yeah. liquid coconut or scented, you know, yeah, it, it smells, smells like, like coconut flakes. Yeah, real coconut what? with a little bit of vanilla is what I mm -hmm. pick up. Uh, for it is a milk stout, right? Yeah. I don't pick up any sweetness. I think it's just that coconut. Well, the vanilla would be some sweet, wouldn't it? Right, but it's a uh, milk, so they're using right. lactose, so you should get some sweetness. All right, let's try drinking it. I like this one. This is, this is good. It to me it has it's too carbonated. Like okay. it's like popping when you're drinking it. It's not like a smooth coconut. It's like uh fizzy? Yeah. Oh. I don't really get that, but it's a good this has a really good coconut taste to it. I like it. This yeah. is the flavors are balanced <clears throat> actually very well, and I would. I'm excited because I like the look of the can. I like the sound of it, and I like the taste is sweet. It's smooth. Like if I wanted you to make a beer with coconut, like I would want you to. Something it would be like, like this. That. Yeah. Like I get the coconut up front. Mm -hmm. Almost through the middle of the palate, then maybe a little bitterness, a tiny bit of like bitterness with vanilla. Okay, I'm not getting too. But much then, as it right goes now. down, um, as it warms up, it brings out more of that coconut. I almost want to say like a chocolate coconut in there. <clears throat> Could be. Ah, oh, I don't get too much chocolate, but. It's very, I feel like it's light. It's not heavy. Yeah, it, to me, and that's surprising, um, I was going to say like a watered down coconut. Like in the back, like it's very Diluted. thin to me. Oh, yeah, but I like that. I don't. Right. 
I mean, I wouldn't mind a heavy coconut. I felt like the, the Arcadia Ales was a heavier coconut. Right. But this is, I think this is a good balance of the coconut, a little bit of vanilla. I get a little bit of vanilla, but not a ton, and I don't get, um, I'm getting bad aftertaste. No, like I said, after it goes down it, and it warms up, like I said, it's almost like a kind of chocolate does your, coconut. Do, does your mouth taste like coconut? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. But I, t for me, I think it's a little too watered down. Okay. What I, would you give this out of five? 4.25. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. I, no, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> okay. I think the, the coconut is there. Um, I think it... Needs to be a thicker body because it is a milkshake. It's a milk or stout. It's a milk stout. So, and I I want some more vanilla. I think it's fine the way it is. Well, if it was, then you would have gave it a five. I think it's fine the way it is. I didn't say it's perfect. I would have liked for it to be a tad bit more coconut, actually. But yeah. as far as drinking it, the taste of it. And the like the aftertaste. Right. It's to, not bitter and it's not stouty. To me, it's almost. I would. Jake, can you stop for a second? Thanks. I, I would call this a coconut porter. Oh, okay. Instead of a stout. Okay. Um, there have been a little over two thousand um ratings on this. Average of three point eight nine. Okay. Uh, two friends have rated this for an average of three point five. So I like it a little bit more than them. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, yeah. I will say that I like this better than mo than um, the milkshakes, the Rochester Mills milkshake stouts. It's supposed to be milkshake stouts, right? I, I would say if th this has a better coconut than mm -hmm. that German chocolate cake. chocolate cake. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like to up it more. I would like to see more um, uh, chocolate in it. Okay. But And see, I was fine. My child's not going to be fine here in a second. But, um, no, I think it was good. I didn't expect there to be too much coconut or too much chocolate, I guess. Well, I just figured because so it's a I'm not, stout. So I wasn't expecting it. That some of that might have came out more, but... It, it's a good one. Yeah. If you can find it, it's definitely worth picking up. I might get another one or two. Yep. Maybe put in some Christmas bin, Christmas. Oh yeah. Okay. Baskets. Cool. <laughs> Whatever, right? Yeah. Brad's done. We're done. We're done here. It's been fun. So until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.